Hello friends, welcome to another session of e-learning in Panchkal. Today we will be starting with the last topic from the syllabus in Panchkal that is physiotherapy. Physiotherapy has been included in Panchkal because it also includes the means of physical treatment just like Panchkal and manual therapies. Physiotherapy is a system of medicine or treatment for complete health care of all age groups in the modern age. It is a treatment measure of physical and electrical means to accelerate patients recovery from injuries and diseases that hazard their normal lifestyle. And it is a form of treatment which is carried out through the medium of physical forces such as heat, electricity, water, massage and exercises with or without resistance. Hence the name physiotherapy. Physiotherapy is often also called as physical therapy as it includes physical forces for treatment. The primary objective of physical therapy is to promote optimum human health and functionality. It helps in identifying, preventing, correcting and alleviating acute or prolonged movement dysfunction of anatomical or physiological origins. Thus, it is called physical or physiotherapy. Physiotherapy as a profession was founded by Mary Macmillan and established by the Surgeon General in 1917. At that time, it was called as Reconstruction AIDS and gradually the new term was coined as physiotherapy. Who are the physiotherapists? According to World Health Organization, physiotherapists are one who can assess, plan and implement rehabilitative programs that improve or restore human motor functions, maximize movement ability, relieve pain syndromes and treat or prevent physical challenges associated with injuries, diseases and other impairments. As already discussed, physiotherapy can be practiced as a part of treatment that is as curative or as part of prevention that is as a preventive measure. As part of treatment, it is conducted at hospitals, private hosp offices, nursing homes, schools, OPDs and private home visits. As part of prevention, it is practiced at schools, sports centers, workplaces, public facilities and health clubs. The aims of physiotherapy as a branch of treatment are to treat the disability and deformity of the patient, to correct the disability and deformity of the patient, to prevent the disability and deformity of the patient and to prepare the patient to live with their deformity and disability with maximum functionality. It also targets to promote health and physical well-being by maximizing mobility and functional ability throughout all the life stages and hence it is included in Ayurvedic curriculum along with Panchkarn as it targets many of the Ayurvedas principles which are Rogupshaman and Swasthiraksha. What are the utilities of physiotherapy or where all it can be targeted? Physiotherapists use their knowledge and skill to improve a range of conditions in associated with different systems of the body such as neurological, such as in stroke, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, neuromusculoskeletal system such as back pain, whiplash injury associated disorders, sports injuries and arthritis, various cardiovascular disorders such as CHD and rehabilitation after cardiac attacks, respiratory system such as asthma, COPD, cystic fibrosis, etc. 
and various dermatological conditions. A question that often arises is what is the importance of physiotherapy? Physiotherapy has been a very effective tool against pains and injuries ranging from minor injuries to major injuries. It helps in getting rid of muscular tenderness or immobility. It is also helpful in various respiratory disease treatments which are carried out by physiotherapeutic techniques like cuffing, vibration, cupped hand technique, clapping etc. which prove the importance of physiotherapic measures in respiratory ailments. Similarly, in orthopedic treatments, orthopedicians often treat sport injuries, fractures, joint disorders, amputation, back and neck pain, arthritis and post-operative conditions with the help of physiotherapy treatments and which can often be carried out at private settings and through home visits. Similarly, in neurological disorders such as strokes, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, cerebral palsy and spinal cord injuries make a great percentage of a physiotherapist caseload. And in children suffering with cerebral palsy, physiotherapy is essential in helping to reduce spasticity and deformity, improve postural control and train the child to use assistive devices and do all that is necessary to maximize the child's functional dependence. What is the role of physiotherapists, which are also called as PT, in the treatment modalities? It includes evaluation of the patient and treatment modalities. When the patient first arrives, we should evaluate and conduct the tests to assess the position of the patient. An evaluation is done by taking the patient history, performing examination and various tests such as range of motion, checking for strength of the body part, balance, coordination, posture and respiration of the patient. After assessment has been made, the treatment modality is decided. To decide the treatment modality, first we have to identify the purpose or outcome of the therapy that we are going to do. For example, whether it is for pain reduction, whether it is for reducing swelling or whether it is for improving the range of motion, similarly so on and so forth. Physiotherapy can be performed through various modes such as massage or manual therapy, electrotherapy, exercise therapy or through adapted de devices. Massage or manual therapy is treatment of a disease or injury by skillful manual manipulation of body tissues and joints. This helps in relieving pain and reducing spasm. It helps in inducing relaxation and promotes absorption of exudates from the cells and it helps in stretching the adhesions and increases metabolism as well as range of motion. Electrotherapy is treatment by electrophysical modalities which include low, medium and high frequency currents according to the condition. It can be performed by two ways and is categorized into actinotherapy and heliotherapy. Actinotherapy is treatment by rays from lamp etc. artificial sources and heliotherapy is treatment by rays from natural sources such as sun. Exercise therapy helps in accelerating patient's recovery from injuries and diseases which have altered his normal way of living by repeated muscular activity in range, strength and duration and it can be of active and passive types. Adaptive devices are also often prescribed 
such as crutches, wheelchairs, prosthetics or various belts to give support to that particular body part. What are the various treatments or modalities which are included in physiotherapy? They include shortwave diathermy, interferential therapy, ultrasonic therapy, TENS, electrostimulation, IRR, hydrocollator packs, whirlpool bath, paraffin bath and combination therapies. Of these, only few are there in our final prof syllabus and we will be covering them in the coming lectures, especially shortwave diathermy, ultrasonic, magnetotherapy, paraffin bath or wax therapy and exercise therapies. With this, we come towards the conclusion of today's lecture and in next session, we will be covering the exercise therapies and various electric and electromagnetic therapies of physiotherapy. Thank you.